it's Pastor Dan from Dexter Gospel Church with the Proverbs Practical. Thanks for watching. As we turn the corner into a new chapter here in Proverbs, we find another theme, this one dealing with boasting. We're in Proverbs chapter 27 and verse 1. It says, Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. Now, it's such a simple and obvious warning, but it has such sweeping and powerful implications. The statement is simple. Don't brag about tomorrow because you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. This is echoed in James' teaching over in James 4 where he says, Go to now, get out of here, to people who declared their plans as destiny. The counsel is simply not to make assumptions about the future and then don't brag about those assumptions. This can be because of some plan we think will come to fruition. We might brag that after such and such amount of time, I will have finished this. I will have done that. I will receive this. We may think certain things are going to happen. We may think a stock market is going to do a particular thing, or an election is going to go a certain way, or an investment is going to pay off at a certain rate, but we don't really know. We may think that a person is going to react in some way, that we will get some reward, that some achievement will be finished but we don't really know. And perhaps all the more perniciously, we don't even know for sure that there will be a tomorrow for us. So we don't know how investments and other things are going to work out. We don't know what we ourselves are going to do or even if we're going to be here. Now this is a powerful blow at procrastination. So often we justify not doing the right thing today because we say that we will do it tomorrow. We'll even think and brag that we are good people because we have planned and intend to do good things. But planning to do a good thing is not the same as doing that good thing. We can't take credit for anything in the future because we haven't done it yet. One of the most devastating quotes I've read recently is that procrastination is the arrogant assumption that God owes you the chance to do tomorrow what you should have done today. Ouch. We can't boast about tomorrow because we have no idea what we can or will do then or whether we'll have the opportunity to do what we thought we would or would receive what we thought we would get. We can't think ourselves good people. We can't brag about tomorrow because it hasn't happened yet. Now, we can make plans and set goals. We should. That's part of what the wise person in Proverbs does. We should seek God's direction in that process. We should make decisions that are directed toward the long haul, not just the short run. This isn't saying just live in the moment with no thought for anything that might happen down the road. The wise person certainly takes into account the long run. They live not just even for the length of this life, but for all eternity. But we'd better not assume in this life that we will have what we might not have. Only God knows the future. So only his statements about the future can be trusted completely. I hope this video is a help to you. If it is, give it a like. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more like it. We'd love to see you in the comments section, and we'd love to see you in person here at Dexter Gospel Church. Until next time, I hope you stay well, and look to the future humbly.